Welcome back everyone to some more F1 2021 My Team Career Mode. This is Season 7, Round 19 of 23. We're heading to Mexico for the Mexican Grand Prix Round 2 of 3 in the Americas of the world. So we will see what we can do here. We are 3 points away from winning the title. So a good race result today would see us clinching the Constructors title. If you guys have missed the previous episode, make sure to check out the link in the description description there's a link to a playlist of all the f1 2021 my team videos we've made so far and in the previous episode we secured the driver standing so let's see if we can get both hands on both trophies this time before we continue though just want to make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel make sure that red subscribe button down below is pressed hit the notification bell as well so you're notified as soon as the next video goes live more f1 2021 content is going up on the regular as well as gaming videos so please be sure to be subscribed so you don't miss out on any future videos thank you guys so much for your support and let's move on with the mexican grand prix today Here we go with qualifying around the Autodromo Hermanos Rodriguez or the Mexican Grand Prix. So the track itself is very solid for us. We just need to get some turns right. And I think for the most part, we should have a solid qualifying session. We should be in with a chance to get into Q3 and maybe even obtain pole position just like last time out. That would really, really send a signal to the other teams showing our desire to get p1 and to win the grand prix today so let's see mexican grand prix is a strong circuit for his practice was overall very good secured p1 in both fp1 fp2 sessions left fp3 to do some quick practice material just to get the final boost and development resource and development points accumulation whatnot yes uh, overall a very solid session enjoyed it a lot just relaxing as well so it's very much up in the air now for the uh, qualifying session we just need to set a solid lap hopefully we can and hopefully we can stay competitive against Giovinazzi, Leclerc and Russell who are the three main uh, rivals sometimes Verstappen gets into the mix but um, I think for the most part we're gonna have to fight those guys so let's see if we can set a solid enough lap and get into Q2 All right, first lap of Q1. A little shaky there, but we should be able to get out of this stadium section relatively with ease. P6, okay. I might do one more lap. Hmm, I'm gonna take a cooldown lap actually. And then do another lap, let's do it. Much better of a lap right now. I think this should get us pull. And out of Q1 with ease. Bit poor exit out of the stadium, but yes. Fastest lap. one twelve zero. Okay, that is a good lap. Bringing these back to the pits. Oh god, let me get out of the way. Sorry, Mesman. Uh, but yeah, we're out of here. Ooh, marvelous job from us to get P2. Verstappen beats us by two thousandth of a second. Michael Schumacher P4 as well, so that is good from him as well to be competitive with the rest of the pack. Oi, Mazepin, Aiken, Lunga, Joe, Eilert, and Schwartzman get knocked out. Usual suspects. Let's move on to Q2 then. Alright, let's see. First lap of Q2 fast out of there come on good X out of the stadium p1 marvelous good job. do you think we need to do another lap we'll see all right end of q2 Charles Leclerc and Stroll get faster lap times than me of course I did a 112.05 in the previous um previous session I think uh maybe even faster than that but I just did one run and that's enough for p3 Michael Schumacher p11 he gets knocked out in q2 oh my goodness that makes things a little more difficult here because the two furry drivers are in q3 Raikkonen Latifi Hamilton Norris and Gasly also get knocked out so let's see what we place for the race in q3 
Let's see where our banker lab in Q3 puts us. Let's see if it's fast enough for maybe a decent starting position. Oh my god, dead last, why? Ooh, this is troubling. Feeling quite confident about this run. Oh, nearly a second improved. I am feeling very good with this lap. Excellent lap. We're really pleased. Felt really confident on the last lap, and you can see we scored a 111.6 to see us on pole position for the race itself. Also, we have the best performing car right now. We got a performance upgrade from Ferrari, and we are now the fastest car on track. So, we should be in with a good Grand Prix today. Leclerc in P2. As expected, Verstappen and Stroll in the second row. Let's see if Michael Schumacher can do much from his tactical pole position in P11 and me in actual pole position. Let's see how good our race weekend will be around Mexico. Here we go then. It's time to race in Mexico City, a place which gave Honda their first ever victory back in 1965. American Richie Ginther won from third on the grid. And what are the Honda powered cars this year? Well, Red Bull have been going strong here in recent seasons, so can they keep that record going today? The Autodromo Hermanos Rodriguez, 2.6 miles of track that allows drivers to take full advantage of their cars, reaching speeds in excess of 220 miles per hour, and providing lots of opportunities for overtaking. The circuit features 17 corners, 10 to the right, and the remaining seven going to the left. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's race. The Golden Boy lines up on pole position with Charles Leclerc alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Stroll, Giovinazzi, Carlos Sainz, and Russell, Sonoda, Ocon, Perez, and Lando Norris. Verstappen, they'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Hamilton, Nicholas Latifi and Raikkonen, Schwartzman, Gasly, Callum Eilert and Quan Yu Zhou, Lundgaard, Aitken, Michael Schumacher, they've taken a grid penalty, and Nikita Mazepin. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. Unlucky for Schumacher who sees himself in P21 after taking grid penalties today. Let's take a look at our strategy. One stop is possible. Um, let's see. Let's drop our fuel load a tad bit. 35.5 maybe. I think we can save some fuel here. But I don't want to be too aggressive with my fuel saving. Um, 14 laps, 22 laps. Sounds good to me. And let's get going then. Three tenths of a lap in the deficit. That is fine. Five red lights. And away we go. It's a long drive to turn one. Gonna squeeze Leclerc a little. He is a bit of a danger to us. But we should be in. Oh god. Okay, good, good. Oh, that was a nice escape out of there. We're in. Okay, nicely taken. We're running away from Leclerc. Oh god. Nearly messed up this turn, this series of turns. Oh, I yeah, am sure. Seating track limits. Fine. All right, lap one is done. Still in the lead. Fastest level of 116.7. Of course, we can get faster than that. The opening lap is always slower because we started on a standing start. 
So far so good, everything's looking good. Oh, Leclerc is still lingering right within our DRS. So it's important to pull away now. Ah, Leclerc's going to get DRS, isn't he? Not yet, I'm assuming, because the, the detection zone isn't until before the start finish straight, so he's not going to have DRS here. Okay, that's good. Let's try and keep this one second gap to Leclerc. Driver behind. Leclerc is behind you. Okay, the gap behind is 2.1 seconds. They're on old softs. Their tires are six laps old. We think they've got two stops remaining. The time last lap was a 1.15.8. Schwartzman's out. Okay, that's an interesting occurrence, but no safety car, which is good. I would prefer no safety car. Ah. Last warning I could take, but Leclerc is pushing a lot. He is making us try at least. Everyone else is kind of like nowhere, but Leclerc has some serious pace around here. He's staying relatively close to me, relatively competitive. What's the new strategy option? Let's see. Maybe. We'll see how our pace is like. Green flag. Yeah, I need to save fuel as well. We're boxing this lap. Give us the best in lap you can. All right, Leclerc has a massive pace on those new softs, so we're pitting this lap for new mediums. Leclerc still needs to pit for medium, so I just want to make sure I don't lose too much time to him. He is quite rapid. Norris is not in the question anymore. It's a fight for a first between Leclerc and myself. It's a similar situation as last time when Giovinazzi, Verstappen, Russell, Leclerc, and myself were fighting for positions and everyone else was Michael miles behind. Michael in the pits. Okay, Michael Schumacher is in the pits. Okay, somehow tires are absolutely dead, but somehow I didn't get a penalty for that. Box this lap. Right, come in at the end of this lap. Yeah, the tires are absolutely shot. They're gone. Gonzos. Alright, we're gonna fall right behind Leclerc and ahead of Norris. Let's go in. We're almost there with fuel. Oh I mean as I say that we are on target with fuel now so that was good it's a bit hard to save fuel here so that was the biggest challenge so far come on faster oh three seconds that's slow there goes Leclerc he's not too far ahead oh Norris is right behind me yep there all right that was a good that was a decent pissed up could have been a lot better but I'll take it we only got P2. And we're seeing out the rest of the Grand Prix on these mediums, so we should be in the clear to win this. Let's see. Let's hope I don't fall too far behind Leclerc. Because he does have some pace, mind you. 
All right, 20, lap 20. It's been a relatively easy Sunday drive around the circuit. Not getting any closer to Leclerc. So I guess we got to start pushing now, which I am tempted to do. I guess the soft tires are still a bit active right now. Like, they're not completely worn out. So he still has some pace, but we're catching up to some back markers here, actually. I think that's a Haas just ahead of me. More like two Haases between me and Leclerc, so we got to overtake them. Oh, Gasly is coming out of the pits. We overtake him. We got Mazepin here as well. Overtake him as well. Got some back markers. I think up to P20 I've overtaken now. Oh, there's a bit of wing. Oh, God. There's bits of wing on the track. What's going on? That's dangerous. Could cause a puncture. Just like in the previous episode, I don't know how Alcon got a puncture in the last episode, but he did. And caused a massive, like, chaotic situation with safety car and whatnot. Let's hope I don't run into those debris or particles and then get a puncture. Oh, MP1. How? The Leclerc pit? I guess so. Alright, I'm P1. That's a shame, Latifi. See you later. We're absolutely dominating. Okay, Leclerc is 15 seconds behind. So this is now 5 foot position with Leclerc. Let's see if I can stay competitive on these kind of like used up mediums. A can make sway. Thank you. Caught up to... Uh, P17. Oh, Leclerc is in the pits with Giovinazzi. Interesting. They must have collided. That gives me a. I mean, that secures us the win today. Norris is not catching 30 seconds. The AI struggled a bit. They've crashed quite a few times. And it seemed like Leclerc was the only one with real pace. Okay, there appears to be an issue. We're currently investigating. No, 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 no. Don't tell me it's an engine issue. I've been too dominant right now. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Looks critical. Find somewhere no. to retire as soon as possible. We can't risk you carrying on with this race. Again, find somewhere safe to stop. We need you to retire. That was a heck of an impact. Let me know you're okay. It's a performance to be proud of from our Mexico City Grand Prix winners. Tell me, Ant, how do you think they were able to deliver such an incredible result today? Well, I honestly feel it was down to the driver and car today. I mean, we can talk driver skill all day, but if you don't have a solid team to back that, you're never going to get anywhere. When you hit that sweet spot of having both an excellent driver and an incredible car, that's when you see results like those we witnessed today. After an excellent performance at the Grand Prix, I'm sure there'll be plenty of celebrations tonight amongst the Mercedes team. And they certainly deserve it. Oh my god, this is angering so much. Like, ugh. why do we get an engine failure on this race where we were so dominant? We had such a great race, but we get knocked down the order. Ah, oh, this is just so frustrating. Next time is going to be the time we can secure the constructors, maybe. Let's focus on the driver of the day. Anthony Davidson, who do you pick? It's got to be Michael Schumacher. I mean, he pulled off some impressive feats out on the track today, even by his standards. The constructors' championship may be a foregone conclusion at the moment, but regardless, let's look at the standings. With that result, the sport's newest team can no longer be touched at the top of the table. What an incredible journey this has been 
for a team many have written off a short time ago. They are Formula One World Champions. Well, it seems like we did secure the Constructors title as well because Michael Schumacher got P9. But anyway, Giovinazzi Norris and Perez on the podium. Stroll, Leclerc, Hamilton, Sainz, Verstappen, Schumacher and Russell in the top 10 points positions. Eilert, Raikkonen, Joe, Gasly, Ocon, Sonoda, Lungard, Aiken, Mazepin, Latifi round out the finishers with myself and Schwartzman not finishing the race today. Let's take a look at the standings then. 322 points for me, 159 point gap to Leclerc on 163, but I mean this title is already secured. 20 point gap between Michael Schumacher and Leclerc now, so hopefully Michael can have a good race next time and see himself further up the order and maybe in P2 in the driver standings. Constructor standings wise, we have a 202 point gap, which if I calculate correctly, we got five races left, I think. Or do we do we have four? So we have Brazil, we have uh, Australia, Saudi, and Abu Dhabi. So with those four races, if so, it would be a total of 174 points. So yes, we did secure the title today. Interesting, very 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 good. Um, and Red Bull overtake AlphaTauri once more. 218 points for Red Bull, 204 for AlphaTauri as they switch positions. It's still quite a tight gap between P4, P5, P6, maybe even P3. Like if Red Bull have another good race, they could take P3. But anyway, we are constructors and driver standings winners. It's good to get double, double rewards this season absolutely dominant performance today p1 pole position start and we were so far ahead in p1 as leclerc crashed with giovinazzi and uh couldn't make it uh past us at any point he was very fast leclerc i have to tip my hat to him he was the only one really pressing us throughout the whole grand prix a bunch of ai crashes here and there a bunch of people digging into the pits a couple times and that is why they were unable to catch up with two, both of us because we had a relatively quiet and safe race but that is so frustrating to see us lose our engine on the final couple laps there I was so dominant, I was ready for a P1 finish, but the engine had other ideas. Maybe the AI is conspiring against me. He, The AI noticed that I was so far ahead, so dominant, that they were like, oh, screw it, we're going to mess up with this race now. So yeah, that is our third DNF, I believe, of the season. Second? Third, third, third DNF, I think. So that is a big, big shame. Uh, we have enough engine components. If it is an engine issue, it did look like it. It was yellow, though, so I'm not sure how big of an impact that is, whether it's just like a half damage instead of a full 100% blow. But we'll see. Um, yeah, we'll see next episode what blew up. And yeah, big, big shame. Big shame that we were unable to cross the finish line today. Uh, but yes, constructors and drivers, world champion. We are happy with those results. Now we are just going to enjoy the rest of the season. So there we go. We are again winners in season 7. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you smash that like button. Subscribe using the red button down below. Hit the notification bell as well so you're notified as soon as I upload next. More F1 2021, my team, driver career mode. Other gaming videos are going up on my channel on the regular. So please do consider subscribing to support the channel. Join this community and also share your experiences with other F1 enthusiasts in the comments. Thank you guys so much for your support once more. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Take care of yourself, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you guys at the next Grand Prix.